Welcome to Good Libations, our show about mixology. I'm Ethel Andrews. I'm a mixologist, a local mixologist. And again, we're talking about Brazil and drinks that are made with, um, uh, I can't even think of the name of it, how funny. But anyway, cachaça, which is a unique uh, distilled spirit that is indigenous to Brazil, where sugarcane juice is distilled rather than molasses to create an alcoholic beverage. And if you taste cachaça straight, there is no comparison with anything. I can't even think of any alcoholic beverage that even comes close to it. Oddly, there are some nuances of it that remind me a little bit of a very, very high-end tequila, but not really. Not like rum at all. Although, as with rum, cachaça comes in light, you know, um, beverages, and also golden ones, and also heavier um, aged cachaça. So, and they of course have a darker hue than the light ones. The one that I have is actually a light cachaça, kind of akin to a light rum, you might say. And it's a um, Beljo Barrero, which roughly speaking in Portuguese would mean old um, barrels or old pit, which is kind of funny for a name. But nevertheless, again, this is a worthy beverage. And some of the cachaças are incredibly expensive. This one is not. And although I don't usually tout names, uh, brand names, this one is very good. It's within the range of most uh, what most people could afford. It isn't off the charts like some of them are. So it's one to keep in mind that you could get locally. And in addition to BevMo and um, Total Wine and Spirits, you could get it at Red Carpet Liquor and you could also get it at some other um, liquor merchants that are a bit more exclusive, you might say, than your average one. It isn't something that you can run down to Ralph's or Vaughn's Pavilions to pick up. And anyway, the drink that we're going to make, the um, Karaokean Corcovado, is a very good drink. And unlike the other drinks that I made with cachaça, this particular one is a long drink, kind of akin to many tropical drinks, like if we were having Mai Tais, Singapore Slings, or um, perhaps a zombie. So this particular type of glassware exhibits it the best by far. And there's quite a few ingredients in it. And there's only certain fruits, you might say, that go especially well with cachaça. And in this particular case, mango and passion fruit happen to be two of the most compatible fruits or beverages that we can combine with cachaça. And I happen to have both in this particular drink, so that makes it very, very good. And it is pure juice, but you could use mango puree, and you also could use passion fruit puree in this particular drink as well. And even though it involves a, a long chimney glass, I'm still gonna use the shaker because I think it provides a better medium to get all the ingredients blended together in this drink. So I'm gonna fill it with ice first to at least allow shaking. We'll put, we'll put it that way. because we're also going to put ice in the glass itself um, when we actually pour the drink out. So we have the ice in the shaker now, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cachaça in here. And sadly, I had a real problem with the pouring mechanism in this. I removed the cap, I removed the pour guard, like I usually do, and I couldn't get it back on the cap at all, even putting the pour guard back on, so I had to resort to whittling down a wine cork and using that as a closure, but it works. So the cachaça is in there, and now we're gonna put a little bit of cocoa rum in here. Okay. 
And in this particular drink, we're going to muddle blueberries because blueberries and raspberries actually go with cachaça. Because again, some fruit does not go with it at all and you'll get an odd flavor. So we're gonna put a fair quantity of blueberries in here and we're gonna do some improvisational muddling again with a metal spoon, usually better to use a wooden one, but again, it's the art of improvisation. And when we're somewhere and we don't have the type of equipment that we would like to have, you use what you can use on that particular occasion. So we're muddling, but not pulverizing. And now I'm gonna add the um, mango and passion fruit juice to this particular concoction, concoction in the shaker. And I'm gonna add some fresh lime, which is very important for this drink. This would, will, will remind you of um, evenings in Rio. <laughs> we got the fresh lime in there, which always goes with cachaça, and I'll put the spent shell in there to get more of the infusion from the peel. And then I'm gonna put some fresh orange in there because orange does go with cachaça, not an overwhelming amount of orange, but some we're gonna put in here. And again, the same thing, we're gonna leave the spent shell in there. And we're gonna use this as a medium for getting this drink blended well. And then I'm gonna get ice um, to fill this because we're gonna divest it into this glass here. And hopefully this will pour out well and not make a big mess, but we shall see. Oh, that actually worked quite well. There was some spillage, but not a terrible amount of it. And again, accidents are gonna happen. Whenever you're doing mixology, there's gonna be a few accidents, a few mulligans here and there, <clears throat> but it is not a crisis. And for a garnish, we're gonna put a little bit of orange in here. And we are going to put a little bit of lime. And I can smell the blueberry muddling. It smells so nice. And we're going to put a few, a few blueberries in here as well across the top, just for appearance sake. And again, this is a very nice beverage based on cachaça. And I'm going to taste it and see if it does remind me of being um, at the beach in Rio. Oh, that is very nice. And it is different from any rum-based tropical drink. Very different, or from any tequila-based drink. Very, very nice. Yeah, that is a worthy cocktail. And again, as we always emphasize, let's drink sensibly and carefully and always use caution in making sure that we have a designated driver. And I thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Good Libations, our show about mixology and truly fine cocktails and searching out and using different liquors, different base liquors and turning your drinking into an adventure. Just like we like our food to be, our cocktail should be also. Thank you once again. I'm Ethel Andrews. I'm a mixologist, and I'm glad you tuned into our, our show. Goodbye.